Hi everyone, it's Nick here. Today's video is about the Payments app, which is a new app that Microsoft has launched in public preview in Teams to enable you to take payments directly inside Microsoft Teams. So there are lots of situations where you may want to do this, where you're using Teams to engage with your customers and there's some kind of payment that is needed for whatever the, the meeting or the training or the, the, the session is that you're engaging with your customer with in Microsoft Teams. So the Payments app aims to be an easy way to take those payments right there inside Teams without having to do anything in a separate piece of software. So let's jump into Teams and I'm gonna bounce around a few different accounts to take a look at what this looks like in different stages of being set up and being used. So inside Teams, whether you're in the, the app or you're inside the, the web interface like I am here, you can find your payments app by coming over to your ellipsis um, on your sidebar and typing in payments. Now, what I have found is even for users that are in the same tenant, some of them seem to be able to see this right now and some of them don't. Um, so if you don't see it, I'm not sure exactly what the steps are that you need to take to be able to see it. There's no app policies that are applying differently to my different users that are stopping this app from being surfaced. Um, so you might just have to hang tight while this rolls out. But here you can see the payments app preview we're going to click on this and then we're going to add it so you can see we get our payments app appear here and you have the option of connecting your service to either stripe or to paypal so for the purposes of this demonstration i'm going to connect to a stripe account so i click on connect here and it opens up a window into stripe and I'm going to go through and add the information to connect my account. So if you have an existing Stripe account, it's very easy to add this into Teams. Or even if you don't have one, there's a very straightforward walkthrough that just requires some information on your business in order to do this. But once you've got it connected, you get to this screen here. You can just um, exit out of this, refresh your Teams. So you can now see that Stripe is connected into Microsoft Teams and you can click here on open to open your Stripe dashboard. And if you're at all familiar with Stripe, then you will have seen a dashboard like this previously, very similar to any other payment processor that you may have worked with. So let's jump over to another user that's got payments set up already. And I've actually set up a couple of test meetings in here to show how payments can work. So I've got a meeting here uh, that I have requested a couple of users come to. One is internal, one is external. So we're just gonna walk through the experience of this. So I'm gonna join from my organizer just into the meeting. Okay, so I'm showing three different windows here, all with the same meeting. And I've got my meeting organizer here. I've got a uh, attendee from my organization here, and I've got an external attendee here. So I've got three different types of attendees. So I'm gonna go into my organizer and I'm going to, in my chat, um, go into my messaging extensions, and I'm going to bring up my payments. And you can see uh, it says it lets you set up to receive payments. So we're going to continue. It's going to add this into our chat here. And then I can select the recipients that I want to, um, I want to ask for money. So I'm going to say just payment. I'm going to say $1 and I'm just going to send it to my external user, which is Nick. I'm going to send that request. And so let's open up the chat in Nick. You can see this adaptive card here is just refreshing with whatever information it needs.
and you can see I'm being asked to pay one dollar. But you can also see in Miriam's, it's saying, feel free to ignore this, a private request was sent to another person. So I am not seeing what payment requests are being sent to other users, I'm just seeing the payment request to myself. So if I come into the user that's been asked to pay some money and I just click on pay now, it opens up another tab and it goes to a checkout. The, the checkout is through Microsoft, it's a Microsoft domain. Um, and I just get to put in my credit card information. So I'm just going to go ahead and fill this out as a, um, as a user. So once you've submitted your payment, the, uh, the other window closes and you can see here, thank you, you'll be sent a payment confirmation by Stripe. And if we jump back into Pradeep, you can see that I've got payment $1 Nick DeCoursey paid. And all the while, uh, there isn't any information up here in Miriam's account, so she cannot see what's going on. So that's a very quick and easy way of getting payments. Now, if we jump back into Pradeep's payments, and we're going to open our dashboard again. So you can see in our payment uh, dashboard we have our one dollar sale is being reported here um, and the various information that we would have around that is is in here um, so this is working just as it would if you were taking payments in stripe from somewhere else so overall i'm really excited about this i think adding in this payments capability opens up options to really round out the customer journey that we're able to deliver through Teams, to make using Teams easier for our staff and more frictionless for our customers. That said, and bearing in mind that this is a preview product, I do think this is a very limited set of features in terms of taking payments for the overall breadth of where Teams allows you to engage with your customers. I certainly hope that in the future, we see this capability expanding beyond just the meetings or the chats that we're having there and then, and into other aspects of Teams, like the ability to book a virtual appointment or the ability to register on a webinar. And if we get that, then I really think this could be like a killer differentiator for Teams over a lot of competitors. This is probably my last video of the year, so I want to wish everyone a happy start to 2023. If you've enjoyed today's content, then please do give it a like. Um, and if you like videos like this, if you want to see content like this going into next year, then please do subscribe to the channel. But for now, until next year, bye-bye.